major labels are gonna are just determined to stay the same. Is there more money for artists? Mm, no, there's less money for artists. It would be nice, you know, to make a ton of money. It would be nice to be able to afford insurance policies for my guys. It'd be nice to, you know, have some kind of retirement plan. Well, we don't have those things. We're artists. The, the government doesn't cover our asses. It's not a socialistic society. It's pretty much all up to us. Yeah. Everyone in the band has at least a part-time job that they can fall back on. This is our full-time jobs. When we are on the road, we get paid, and usually when we're not on the road, depending on how much money we've made on the preceding tour, we can usually keep people on salary. Once you've been self-employed and made money off of it for years and years and years and years, it's really hard to go back to the real world. In fact, if war stopped happening, I would probably just plan one elaborate heist and try to steal about a million dollars and then just live off that for the rest of my life. I believe getting signed to major labels is often the death knell for bands. They get signed on there, they have all these ridiculous aspirations and, or, or expectations of what they think it's gonna be like. You know, everything rolls smoothly for a while, the label's so into you, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, maybe your sales aren't so good. Or all of a sudden, it's like, hey, here's all the money you have to recoup before you get anything. And all of a sudden, it's like, hey, uh, we're not gonna put out your next record, but you know what, we're not gonna let you off the label either, so you can't sign with anybody else. Ha, <laughs> your career's over. Some labels will give you tour support. We'd rather not take tour support because you have to recoup that. And recouping is, a, you know, it's like the worst loan in the world because only X percentage, it's not like the first, you know, $50,000 you make from album sales go, goes to recouping. Only a percentage of that goes to recouping. So when you're taking that $10,000 support check, tour support check from your label, you know, you, you better understand that you're gonna have to probably make about $80,000 to pay that back. It's actually the worst high interest loan you ever can take. As long as you're making money for the label, then you'll do well there. As soon as you're not, you'll be cast out like garbage. Okay. You'll never recoup, you know? You'll never see royalty checks. They'll work your ass. They'll fucking make you put out albums before you're ready to put them out. They'll make you take tours that you don't want to take. They'll make you do things you don't want to do. And at the end of the day, they really don't give a flying fuck about any of these bands. They just want to make their money. Stick to your roots, fuck the suits. I don't know, it's, it's very depressing to me when I see bands that I've known and enjoyed my whole life and they get signed and then I start reading these interviews and they're just like, well, we did this and this because the label told us to. It just takes the teeth out of everything. Jeez. So find people you love, people you can trust, you know? I'd say that's more important than how good musicians they are, really, you know? It's way more important to have people that are gonna be there on your side and no matter what, you know? And you, you can learn how to play your guitar better as you get guys progress your careers. The traditional aspect of music is gone. I mean, the internet has changed everything. We've set our own rules from day one. The fucking in the music industry can go hang for all I care. You know, if California could break off in North America and sink into the sea, I, I couldn't be happier. I guess in a way, the corporate entity of the music industry is an assailable tyrant.